For the next seven days, my friend Mike is going to be buying at least one phone a day on Facebook Marketplace that he's gonna be flipping for a profit to try and see how much money he can make. For those of you guys who are new here, the way phone flipping works is you learn the market values of phones so you know how to spot a good deal. You then go on Facebook Marketplace, find phones that are below market value that you could purchase for a good price, and then you take those phones and you sell them somewhere like eBay, where they tend to sell for a premium. Obviously, I'm oversimplifying it quite a bit there, but you get the idea. So usually the way we find these good deals is just by refreshing Facebook Marketplace and making sure that we're the first people to see them so that we can then snatch them up and get them at a good price. This week, Mike's gonna be using a new software that is gonna be doing all of that for him and sending those deals directly to his phone as soon as they're posted. To get set up, he literally just had to set the models he's looking for, as well as the price range that he would consider to be a good deal. And that's literally it. Now for the rest of the week, as soon as a phone is posted on Facebook Marketplace, within five minutes of that phone being posted, he's gonna get a notification for that listing sent directly to his phone, which he can then click on and will bring him directly to the Facebook listing where he can be the very first one to make an offer. I've actually partnered with them to create a package specifically for phone flipping. So if you wanna give it a try, you can actually try it completely free for seven days without ever giving them your credit card information. Or if you join my new school community, you can get my course and a month of the software completely free. Link for both will be in the description. What's up guys, I'm Mike, obviously. Not obviously that you should know who I am, but Christian already mentioned me, so that's why I say that. I'm excited to be flipping phones this week. Christian said to just go about my day, so I'm not really sure what to expect. Normally with videos like this, I'm constantly on Facebook refreshing my feed and searching for phones. So I've already got my app set up and all the searches set up. So when I find a good deal, I'll let you guys know and we'll go pick it up. Okay, so we just locked in our first deal of the video. One person is selling an iPhone 12 and an iPhone 12 Pro. The 12 is 64 gigabytes and the 12 Pro is 128 gigabytes. He agreed to do them both for 525. And yeah, it's just one pickup location, which is always nice. It's not the best deal. I mean, we're not getting rich off this deal, but it's a good deal to start the video with, I think. So yeah, I'll let you guys know once we get the phones. All right, I just picked up both phones. We have the 12 right here and the 12 Pro. They're both in pretty good condition and no issues. I just tested both of them, clean IMEI numbers and all that good stuff. So yeah, that's it for day one, solid deal. Like I said, we're not getting rich off these, but it'll work. And yeah, I'll see you guys tomorrow for day two. Cool thing about having two phones too, is you can take two calls at once. Okay, so it's day two and the app just sent me an iPhone 13 listed at $400. I messaged the girl and she agreed to sell it for 300. So let's go pick that up now. All right, we just picked up the iPhone 13. It's in really great condition and yeah, we got it for 300 bucks. So it is the end of day two and I've got my first three phones listed up on eBay. So I have the iPhone 12 listed at $369. I have the iPhone 12 Pro listed at $469. And then the iPhone 13 that I got today also listed at $469. I'm not actually posting this video until all the phones have sold. So for the rest of the video, whenever there's a screenshot and funds added to the little tracker down below, that means he actually sold the phone for that much and that's what he got for the phone after eBay fees and shipping and everything else. What's up, it's day three. I just got a notification for an $80 XR. I messaged the buyer and they agreed to sell to me this afternoon. So yeah, I'm gonna finish this workout and then we'll go grab the phone. All right, just tagging along with Mike to go pick up an iPhone XR that he found for $80. <sighs> phone secured. <laughs> Solid condition iCloud removed. I approve. And you got a box. Crazy, Stay boxed dude. up, baby. Quick $100 profit, one trip. Your work day is done for the day. Let's go home, shall we? All right, what's up? It's day four. I'm just on my little mom walk right now and I got some $100 iPhone 11. The battery health seems to be a bit low, but everything else seems to check out fine. So yeah, we're gonna go pick that up now. All right, phone secured. Great condition, battery health slow, but beggars can't be choosers, you know? All right, what's up? It's day five and I just got a notification for an iPhone 12 Pro, 128 gigabytes for $300. I asked her if she would do 270 and she agreed. So we're gonna finish up here and then we're gonna go grab that phone. So we're on our way to go pick up the 12 Pro right now. So I've been doing this business full time for about a year and a half. And I'll be honest, I got pretty burnt out from it. Just having to sit on Facebook Marketplace all day, searching for phones and refreshing. I just became very jaded towards 
the business. I will say this week has felt really smooth and honestly enjoyable. I've been able to live my life and just go about my day how I normally would and not worry about missing deals because before I would feel like I had to sit on my phone all day because if I wasn't on my phone all day, then I would miss the deals and then I wouldn't make the money. Whereas now the notifications just come to me and I'm not missing any deals. You can't miss any deals. It's just a matter of deciding if it's a phone you want to get. If it is, you send an offer and then you go pick up the phone. So yeah, it's been really smooth. I swear this is not an ad read. He doesn't even know I'm, I'm saying this, but yeah. Smooth like butter, baby. We got the phone, so 12 Pro, 128 gigabytes. She had it listed at 300, but because the battery is at 78%, I was able to get her down to 270. But yeah, it's a really great condition and we should make some decent profit on this. Cool transition. So I'm just driving home right now from grabbing that first 12 Pro and I just got a notification for another 12 Pro on my way home. So I'd be stupid not to get this, it's on the way. I'm not sure if this is against the rules, but it is what it is. So it's a 12 Pro, 128 gigabytes for $280. So yeah, we're gonna go scoop that up real quick. Okay, we got the phone. So this is another 12 Pro, 128 gigabytes. We got this one for 280. And just as I was pulling up to the house, I got a notification on my phone for an iPhone 13. I asked if he would do 280, he said he would do three. So we're gonna get the phone for $300. It's literally a few minutes from here. I'm not sure if this is cheating, but yeah, we're gonna go get it now. So we got the iPhone 13, 256 gigabytes, paid $300 for it. So I'd say that's a pretty good deal. It's in really nice condition. You could even say steals and deals. Steals and deals. All right, that's the end of day five. I just got these bad boys listed. Now we just have to wait for them to sell. It's day six and I just got a notification for an iPhone 13 Pro listed at $150. So I just messaged the seller right away and hopefully we can secure the deal. The back glass is cracked and that seems to be the only issue. So fingers crossed. I got good news. The buyer agreed to sell me the iPhone 13 Pro for the asking price of $150 with the back glass cracked, obviously. Um, so yeah, I just got gas and we're gonna go grab the phone now. All right, so we got the phone. Here's the iPhone 13 Pro with uh, obviously shattered back glass. I thought it was a 128 gigabyte. It's actually a 256 gigabyte, which is sweet. I should be able to make 200 to $250 profit on this phone. This is the deal of the week that I've been waiting for and I'm so happy we finally got it. What's up guys? Not sure if we updated it yet. I am with Mike. This is the 13 Pro I bought earlier. We're just stopping to drop this off at the technicians because I think we could get some more money for it. I got that for you. Okay. What do you do that glass for now? Yeah, this one would be 60 bucks. Cool. All right, just dropped off the 13 Pro with the technician. Took a little bit extra to drop it off, but it adds like 80 to $100 profit and it's only gonna cost us $60 to add it. So I think it was worth it. If you're doing volume, maybe it's not worth it to do it. But if you're doing one phone a day, you definitely have time to fix them and it's definitely worth it to add some profit for each phone. I will say getting good deals like this is what makes phone flipping so worth it and what makes it so profitable sometimes. If you just show up every day and you actually buy a phone, it could literally be as simple as buying one phone like he did. You're gonna be there when someone lists a 13 Pro for $150 and just the consistency of being on the market every day is going to get you deals like this. Would I say that every flip is gonna be $150 13 Pro? No, most of them won't be. But if you show up and literally could be as little as one phone a day, you're going to get these crazy deals. What's up guys? Day seven, last day of the video. I know it's, it's so sad, I wish this could go on forever. I'm just on a hike right now and I'm checking the notifications as they come in. It's just afternoon right now, so Still got lots of time to find a, a good deal. And uh, yeah, I will keep you posted on the phone situation because that's a situation and it's a phone situation. We gotta, we gotta find a phone. All right, you guys might not believe this, but I was just cutting up sweet potatoes and I got a notification for a $200 13 Pro. Uh, the back is smashed and there's LCD spots. So I took a shot and I messaged him for $100 and he agreed. So we're gonna go pick that up now. Two 13 Pros, two days in a row, both under $200, that's pretty crazy. So this is definitely a big flip. All right, so we got the phone 13 Pro for $100. The back is fully taped up, so I, I'd imagine that it's pretty smashed up. I wasn't gonna take the tape off because I didn't want it falling apart in my car, but uh, we could do a little reveal to see how bad it is. This might not be a great idea, but. 
Oh, okay. There's stuff still there. <laughs> uh... All right, <laughs> there it is. Honestly, that's not as bad as I thought it was going to be. I didn't think there was going to be like any backing. I figured that's why he taped it. You can see the LCD spots there, but I don't even think I'm going to get this one fixed. I'll probably just list it as is and should be able to make two, three hundred bucks at least, I'd imagine. Maybe four. I'm not sure. All right, peace. It's been fun.